I bet you anything, if you hit the horn, it would say, Auga. Okay, so we've got the JC Pennies clear down on this end. That is an original anchor from this mall. This right here, the sofa store, that used to be a Carlisle's. And then over here on this end, from what I understand, Elder Beerman used to be a Kmart back in the day. Like that was the other original anchor, which is just strange to me, but that's that's all I can find online. I honestly don't have a personal memory of that being a Kmart. See, now this sofa store here, it was Carlisle's, but it must have been something else between because you can see an old label scar up here, but I can't quite make out what it is, and I honestly don't have the memory of it. But uh, in looking at this facade here, I thought that it was maybe new, but I don't think so. I think that is actually original. So if you look at these, gl these glass windows over here, and there's a glass block windows here, which nobody would put that up nowadays. But you can see like the streaking on these old windows here. I love that. That's definitely original. I love this entrance here. Although this is not the original sign, it still is old. You can see the old label scar from what used to be up there. But this is really cool. There used to be a curves in there. And, uh, and you can see half of the sign there. That's crazy. Like, I, I still don't understand why they just leave things like that. Why not just wipe it out, paint over it, cover it? I don't know. Another thing I love about these malls is the different styles of brickwork. Look, you can see where it's... Like, this is all one kind here. Then you move over here, and it's a little different on the top and on the bottom. Totally different here. And then down in JCPenney's, it's again a different style of, uh, of brickwork. You know, I can't explain the feeling, but pulling up here and seeing that penny sign on the front and the side of the building there is just, it's something awesome. It's something special for people like me who grew up in that period of time when malls were just so busy and they were the place to be. That doesn't mean that any of us actually hung out at JCPenney as teenagers. It just means that pennies is a staple of these malls. Surprisingly a good number of cars in this lot right now, but you got the back of the hotel right here. And then this entrance is the Cinemark Movie Theater. And then from the theater, you have this little part here, which I believe is actually the exterior of a restaurant. And we'll find that out in a minute when we go inside. Yeah, that's, uh, that's chained right there. I didn't know this was a closed off restaurant, but look, some of the windows are gone. People must have busted them out. You know, looking in these doors down the hallways, you can see the lights hanging from the ceiling. And I am just dying to get inside here. But I want to take you around to the entrance that I used to use, which was at the hotel in the back here. So this is the Comfort Inn back here. This is where I used to come with my family. And, uh, you know, like I said, as they were kind of swimming or hanging around in the room, we would either go swimming or sit in a hot tub or we would go down a long hallway to the mall. I'm going to go in this entrance here. I would love to take you guys with me and kind of retrace the steps that I used to take when we would stay here and I'd head out to the mall. 
Um, hopefully they won't stop me from filming. I know that sometimes places don't like you to do that, but let's go on in and see what happens. Wow, I mean, this is crazy, man. The memories just flood back of being here with my parents, swimming in this pool here. I mean, nothing has changed. The floor, all this is exactly how it used to be. The, uh, the hot tub here. Man, I just wanna dive in there right now. That is so crazy. It, it's funny, just every little detail. I'm a very detail-oriented person. And the edges here, and the steps. Man, I just wanna dive in there right now. It's warm and toasty in here. And to look outside the windows here, see if, and you probably can't really see that very well. But it's so warm and toasty in here and the warm water of the pool, I can only imagine right now, with the backdrop of it snowing outside. Just incredible. I'm so glad there's nobody in here right now so I can actually get some photos. But look, I thought this was funny. That is not my PT Cruiser. <laughs> I know this is not what we're here for, but since you are on this personal journey with me, this is what you're gonna see. <laughs> look at this, this is the workout room. Can't see it very well through there. I can't imagine I spent very much time in there. That's why I'm skateboarding to lose weight right now. All right, let's go out through the mall here. You know what's funny? To me, okay, here's the front doors of the hotel. And then right in front of me here is a little place you go through and you can see the doors to the mall. When I was a kid, this hallway seemed like five, ten times longer. I mean, it seemed like you really were walking a long distance down this hallway to get to the mall. Now, upon first stepping in here, it's all lit up. There's a lot of sounds and things like that. But if you look, that's all it is. I mean, we got a mall walker right here. We got a couple people somewhere back in here that I noticed were buying something. Or no, they're going to the movies. That's the theater right over there, the Cinemark Theater. And where most Cinemark theaters nowadays for a first run movie are like 10, 11, 12 bucks, it's like five bucks in there. So we got Napoli pizza back here, which I don't know if it's an original, but I definitely remember it from when I was here before. That's a pizza chain you see in a lot of malls. This is the former food court, and it's, I guess, still considered the food court. There's all these tables here and everything. Like I said, there's the Napoli pizza back there, but it looks like that's it. It looks like there might be one or two more little restaurants up here, which we'll see in a second. But I wanna show you this. Everything along this entire wall here has become the arcade. This thing is enormous.
Yeah, I want to show you this. You can see there's first run movies up here. Uh, but I want to show you the prices because this mall is so dead, that's why it's so cheap. Okay, so as you can see, the tickets to the movies are only, you know, a fraction of the price as they are at a regular theater. Like three fifty for a matinee, six bucks in the evening. Um, when I was a kid, The Rocketeer was playing on one of the screens, and we wanted to see it so bad that after the movie we went to see, my dad said, come on, let's go. We tried to sneak in to The Rocketeer, and we got caught. <laughs> Okay, so this place back here, it's a restaurant, it's called Herford's Place. I've never heard of it before, but when these malls start dying, it kind of opens up that opportunity for little unknown stores and restaurants to kind of come in and give it a shot. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research on that place because I'm kind of curious to see if it's, you know, just one person's business or if it's actually, you know, a string of, of uh, restaurants. And back here you see there's another staple which is the Rear Rolling Pretzel Company. You see that in a lot of these old malls. But those two, those three restaurants, the pizza, over the top, Rear Rolling, and that other one that I said I didn't know of, those are the restaurants in the food court. This isn't really a restaurant, it's a coffee shop. Now we're coming into the middle of the mall here and it looks awesome but it is just empty and dead. You can see the entire place. Four hallways from the very middle of the mall. Pretty cool. So we got the sofa store back here, which I said outside used to be Carlisle's, and I like the way they make use of space in here. Instead of having just an empty place right here, this is like the spillover from uh, the sofa store. Those are sofas and things that are for sale inside there. And that looks a hell of a lot better than just having an empty storefront or boarded up. I'll tell you one thing, they really do find a great way to use the space in here. Now this is a business over here, but this Taz's game room, you can see all the long tables in there. They actually have uh, people come in there and they play those table games like Magic and Dungeons and Dragons and things like that. I'm not into that kind of stuff, but I think it's cool that there's a place in this mall that does that. Because otherwise you have things like this just an empty storefront with nothing happening inside. It's ugly. I like it, but let's see what that was. Yeah, I can't tell what that was. <laughs> Too dark inside, but as we come down this hall here, I see there are a few. Another one right here. Um... And then like this, this is basically an unattended store right here. My guess would be that this is, again, part of that sofa store. Nothing on the sign up there. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I thought. It's another part of the sofa store, and that is just an excellent use of space in this mall. Instead of just leaving a big, empty, open storefront, they probably rent it out a lot cheaper to the sofa store, and it looks a hell of a lot better. Here's a scrapbooking store over here. I think that actually used to be 
where that uh, where all that stuff is now. Yeah, that by no means is a normal store that you would find in any mall. But again, it's a smaller business's opportunity to come into the mall and set up shop. And like I said, it's it's a great way to take up these uh, otherwise empty storefronts. You can just barely make it out from the label scar back here. But right behind me is what used to be famous footwear. <laughs> Look at this one. Okay, this is really cool. We've got Wellspring Ministry back here, like a children's ministry place. And you can see here what, again, would be an empty, open storefront. They have all that kid stuff, like it looks like a zoo in there. That's really cool. But I'm so curious, I want to step in here for a minute. I don't see anybody, I don't hear anybody. It looks really nice in here. But if it's any indication how often it is actually used, We've still got Christmas trees up, and they're still advertising services on Christmas Day. This little setup back here reminds me of Fight Club. <laughs> Really nice setup in here, but it's just empty. And like I said, nonetheless though, I'd rather have it empty and looking like this than, uh, than an old abandoned ugly storefront. This was great. The girls in the master cuts there, I walked by. I mean, of course, there's nobody in there getting their hair done or anything, so they were just sitting there bored out of their skull. You know, it's funny to me because when I'm in a place like this that is still fully functional, I guess you could say, I see these doors and every door to the outside and the windows and I think you know one day I will be standing outside those doors looking in wishing I could come in to this empty dark abandoned mall. When you go into a mall and you see places like this and libraries and churches and things like that you know it's officially a dead mall. Okay so we've got a King's jewelers behind me here which is kind of funny usually in these malls even after they're dead and abandoned and gone there are still empty storefronts from all the jewelry stores there was a Kay's jewelers out front totally separate building So we got Bath and Body Works here, which you see in a lot of the malls. Look at this. That's a GNC. Usually GNC is one of the very last stores to leave these malls. You go into a mall and there's no GNC, it's pretty much toast. So we got a couple of stores here that are closed. Excel. This one looks like it's called The Trend, and then this one beside it, it looks like it's probably part of The Trend. Um, I mean, they don't look like they're closed for good, but there's no sign up that say what time they open. It's chained, so they're definitely closed right now, and everything in here is 50, 60, 70, 80% off, so it could be closed for good. 
but uh, you know they may have just said forget it. Now this is really cool. Dunham Sports has been here for a while. I don't know how long, but man, this place is stocked with the coolest stuff. Check this out. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it be cool to hop in one of these things and tool around this mall for a while? Again, here's another cool little use of a space. Instead of having a big empty space, you got Holiday Inn with a little setup in here like a room, advertising their rooms. I mean, I gotta hand it to this mall. They definitely make some good use of the empty space. It's not ugly in here, it's not run down, it looks really nice. They have these little setups around the mall like this, and all that stuff is for sale. Okay, as you look at this behind me, think of this. There was a time when you couldn't see 20 feet in front of your face in malls. I can see all the way down to the JCPenney's there. Not one person between me and Penny's. It's funny, I just set up to start saying they're still advertising Christmas and they have their Christmas trees and lights and everything up. And then that lady stepped in the window to take down the tree. Check out this car. I bet you anything, if you hit the horn, it would say, Auga. Oh, they would kill me. God, it would echo through this whole place. It didn't work, but that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Down here by the pennies, on the left down there is where that music shop was where I bought the Sick of It All cassette. That, that memory will always stick in my mind. In fact, it's probably right where that mural of all the animals was at the church. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but after I bought that cassette, I came down here through the hall to the food court, and I was feeling so independent. I came down here and sat at one of these tables here. And there was a little off-brand restaurant. And I remember buying a cheeseburger. And it was so good. It was my own money. I bought my cassette. I bought my cheeseburger. I was in the mall by myself. It was really awesome. Just a really cool memory of mine. And then, of course, I went back through the hallway. Up to my hotel room. And then probably went swimming. You know what's funny? I think this place that I talked about earlier was actually the place that I bought the cheeseburger when I was a kid. Because I remember this in and out little thing right here where you'd buy from that window. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is Carnation City Mall in Alliance, Ohio, as it stands today. It is definitely a dead mall, but again, they make really good use of the space instead of having just boarded up storefronts and empty storefronts with the doors closed, except for a few they've made really good use of all that space. All right, we're taking off. We're gonna go back through the hotel here because that's where I parked. Oh my God, and as soon as I step in here, I smell the, uh, the swimming pool. Smell that, uh, it just takes me back to when I was a kid. All right, guys, I'm out of here. It's snowing like crazy outside, so I gotta be careful on the drive home.